and Jesse. I I don't know how to bring this up, but Jesse Jr. was I love that 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 guy, the kid, you know, and your son was a beautiful, beautiful man, and um, I felt so heartbroken when when I heard the terrible news, Jesse. I know that uh, Levente and Hugo don't know this, but uh, I do, and I just my heart goes out to you, buddy, because I know you guys are really, really close. And oh, my son. Yeah. I my look in this room. Yeah. Right behind me, you see I a know. picture. You know, beautiful. my son. This is my son's room. Yeah. Uh, my son was a great athlete. I mean, he, he was. was a better fighter than I ever could even imagine. I mean, well, he was an undefeated professional as well. Yes, and he just was a Canizales. The fighters that he grew up around at a young age, and the things he. I remember one time he told me I'm in L.A. and they wouldn't let him work in the corner because he had been drinking. He had a drinking problem. And he said, Dad, I hope I'm not embarrassing you. I said, listen, you're my son. You mm -hmm. never embarrass me. Don't you ever worry about that. Yeah. That's the one battle I never won. I could never get him to stop drinking. Yeah. And I think when he quit boxing, it, it tore his heart out. And uh, he had a bad marriage. And uh, I don't want to put the blame on anybody. My son's his own body. But he just destroyed him. And uh, and I lived, my wife told me when he was having really down and having some seizures for me to go live with him for two years. And I did. And I left my wife here and I lived I, when I was in Vegas and I lived with my son. And I, here I am in bars and I don't even drink, <laughs> trying to keep, be around him and have fun with him and do the things that I could do to help him. And I watched him. Uh, I watched him collapse and this big, strong six foot two monster yeah. turned into a shell. And I, and I, I can only tell you that I know that he's in a good place now with God. Yeah. And I know that he's there and with my family and yeah. I'm proud of him and I never will, never will doubt him. I'll tell you that. Yeah. He was my backbone. No, no, he was a great, great guy. I remember seeing him at the gyms in Vegas all the time. He, he loved boxing. Yeah. He loved the people in boxing. He loved, uh, he loved the sport. Yeah. And I, like I said, I think when he quit the boxing, uh, it took a lot out of him because he knew he could, he could probably, he could have been, a, I'm not, he, he didn't win the world title, but I definitely think if you talk to Kenny Adams, who I, I thought, I don't think fathers should train their son. Yeah. I had Kenny Adams kind of training them. I mean, Kenny Adams trained him, and he treated him like he was his own son. And when he passed away, Kenny Adams said, Jesse Reed was one fighter that I know could have won the world title. Cruiserweight, right? Yes, he was a monster. Yeah, he was. And he could punch. Yeah. He had my punching ability, but he had way more boxing skills, let me tell well, you. Well, he had longer arms than you. He, he oh, so my bad. God. <laughs> you knew how to use them. Yeah. Yeah. This room is Jesse Reed's room. Yeah. Yeah. I see him. I see him right to, to, to your left there, just above. Yes. Left. Yeah. Yeah. I've got, I got a, a picture of a famous photographer took of me and Jesse at Freddie Roach's gym. And uh, nice. my son was right on my side all the time. I can't yeah. tell you how many went. Him coming to me and tell me about Nancy Gideon was all I had to hear. I knew that Nancy could fight. Because my son had a great eye for yeah. for athletes, yeah, he and he was a, he was a great trainer himself. Yeah, he was. Yeah, because he was training a lot of guys too. I remember that's when I seen him in Vegas too, and he was still fighting, but he was also into the training. And he was he had a great boxing IQ. Is what he had. You're absolutely right. You you um, you know at that time when I had Kenny, I I would sit in the audience way back because I get crazy, you know. I, the hardest thing I had was to watch my son fight, even though he didn't get hit. I mean, he didn't get hit that much. But every time he did the punch, I, I never felt anything like that in my life. It scared the shit out of me. And that's, I guess that's how close I was with him. Yeah. I was worried about every little thing, and I didn't even have to worry. <laughs> you know? <laughs> yeah. That's what, make, that's what makes us who we are, Jesse. Well, 
you better believe it. 